products from every decade starting with the 20s. Woo! These products are from the 1920s, which was the flapper girl era, which I kind of like. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? We're dancing. We're flapper. I don't know if that's called dancing. This one is a solo curl roller. Some of these items have been used in the 1920s. What? Why in the world would you buy used products to use on your body as beauty products? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's vintage. I'm doing this on Yoslin. Don't mess with my hair. Is this the one that burns off your hair potentially? <laughs> yeah, it is. No, in case you guys- Should I trust you right now? <laughs> Twist it, and then you use a bobby pin. Thanks for already messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she did! You should wear this, actually. I don't think they're in anymore. <laughs> no, they're in. For a reason. Hailey Bieber uses these. <laughs> well, in that case. <laughs> you bobby pin this here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. It in. Ow. Yeah. Say, I'm sorry. And then you take this out, and it's supposed to hold the curl. All right. <laughs> Can I see? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I did it wrong. So now, I'm gonna pin it like this. Is that better? On the count of three, remove that curler. Three, two, one, she moved it. <laughs> Me. Those are supposed to work like this. Yeah, I just haven't figured it out. Should I do one more try? I give it a thumbs down. No, we're not. We're not giving up yet. I have a date tonight. Now I'm gonna do it again. Oh yeah. This did not work, and I'm gonna attribute it to user error. That is not my fault. <laughs> are you gonna okay. fix it? Well, I am gonna fix it with this hair grit. Yes. I don't know how legit that is. You know what hair grit is from? I'll let Rebecca put it in. And I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's officially in your hair. Hair grit is from pig spit. <laughs> <laughs> what? It what? was a big ad in the 20s. Honestly, it okay. smells like peppermint. Okay, well, can I put See? it on you too? It kind of works. There you go. What do you think? I don't hate it, but I think we should move on. Let's all vote to see if this is a pass <laughs> or a fail. <laughs> I'm saying thumbs up. I mean, it's a little for you. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca's had a pleasant experience. I think there's potential with the 1920s. Oh, it has a terrible after smell. We've got this razor from the 1920s. It's actually been used. And we're not using it on me. So mad. <laughs> You're the only one! Are you kidding me? I just got all my hairs cut. My oh. oh my god! Rebecca just plugged it in. I think it almost burnt down the house. Well, let's see if this works. It doesn't work. Let's try it down here. Don't Two, ruin my bathroom. One. Ah! Sorry, sorry, I didn't get in yet. Oh, test. It's a my. test to see your reflexes. <laughs> Unfortunately, the last time this thing worked. It's so oh my god! It was in the 1920s. I was gonna get a haircut today, but unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Do not use that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin my bathroom. Now we're in the 1930s, which was the Great Depression, but they did also have great hair. Ooh, so we're gonna try it on your Wait, did they have good fashion? Because what is this? Rebecca, you look like you're on Little House on the Prairie. This and is what they wore to bed. Okay? Yes, we're showing it's... different vibes of the 30s. Like all. We are getting to the hair, and they had a lot of like sleek curls. I'll give you a sleek curl. Oh, my turn now? You know what? I'm, I'm not afraid. So the way this works is you plugged it in, and this whole thing would heat heat up and then it would heat up the curling iron and then you pull it out. Ooh, oh, it's hot. Oh. oh man, I see the steam. Don't burn my hair off. Zam fam, comment below if you use a curling iron and if you would do this right now or if you think your hair might burn off. How close is this one to your curling iron? Uh, not that close. Actually it is, it, cl it clamps the same. Is Wait, it hard to Why curl? is it smoking back there? Whoa. Rebecca, it's smoking back there. Oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you joking? I heard the sizzle. Maybe I should do it myself. Actually, nothing happened to it. <laughs> Fine. When we were looking up hairstyles of the 1930s, there was a ton of movie stars. So I'm thinking movie stars became big in the 30s. If you guys know any names of any movie stars from the 30s, comment them below. Are you ready for the reveal? Oh, I'm ready. Ooh. Oh, why does it look like Wait, that? You gotta do it up close. For a first try. Because, yes, and the curls were like pretty tight. They didn't like brush them out. You know how we curl my hair then we kind of like brush it out they did not used to do that are you talking to me because i have no idea what you're talking about right now. <laughs> i'm talking to the Wait. zam fam okay you guys before you see this beautiful curl in my face make sure you are subscribed right now and smash the thumbs up if you think i should do this on zadie no <laughs> no do not use this on zadie you're kidding me smash the thumbs up if you think i should not do this on zadie Voila. <laughs> it looks the same. Actually. I mean, honestly, it works. It's not bad. I mean, I think I need to heat it up a little bit longer. I think we're done with this there. <laughs> All right, what do you rate it? I'm giving this a thumbs up. Me too. I'm so happy they had a curling iron in the 30s. I mean, otherwise, I'd have dirty hair and no way to hide it. Now we are in 1940s fashion. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to do 1940s hair. Why does the clothes keep on getting worse and worse? <laughs> I think this is 
cute. They went from a flapper girl to this. A hair foundation roll. And it's made in Hollywood. We're gonna test this out on Yoss because uh, Yoss gets to be a 1940s <laughs> boss. I like this product because it has instructions. It says, for use, place the roll at back of the head as shown on illustration. Oh, they have drawings. I got this. Wait, there's more information. Let me read the rest of that. It also says, do not use this if you have no idea what you're doing. Are you kidding me? I'm about to make a 1940s queen right here. <laughs> Take the hair and you roll it. Uh oh. <laughs> Is it looking cute? Wait, oh. I feel like your hair might be too short for this. Should we try it on you? <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Is that bump it? Oh, like the Jersey Shore bump it? Yeah. I feel like you could try it on mine. My hair is longer. Wait, is this because you're not doing a good job? No. I didn't read the instructions, but you, you just don't basically want to. roll it up and then you just pin the sides. Zam fam, I also tested 100 years of school lunches on my main channel, so make sure to go watch that because it's like this, but a little more intense. And uh, I might gotten some food thrown at Matt. You don't okay. twist it up. That's what I did. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> not a fun. It's about you. I'm not a 1930s baby. I don't know. <laughs> if I can come in there and do that, you guys are both in trouble. Fine, Matt. You can try it. You know what? I'm going to take over right now because I'm better at reading instructions. I'm a guy. <laughs> that's not how it works. Yeah, this is exactly how it works. One for use. Place the roll the back of the head as shown in the illustration below. Thank you very much for the photo. It's not as easy as you thought. I really don't think the guys in the 1940s did the hair for the girls. Okay, roll it. You gotta keep it flat though. You cannot keep it flat and roll at the same time. Understand fashion. <laughs> you get your little burrito here. Okay. Roll this up here. I see hairs coming out. Yep. You know what this looks like? It's time for the 1950s. Wow. You look like a 1950s housewife. I look very proper. Yeah, and I look like I work at a diner. Except for, what are those? So I think this is a hair dryer if I'm not mistaken. Because if you are a 50s perfect housewife, you need perfect hair. I'll test it on you first to make sure. It actually works, you guys. This is from the 1950s. Feel a little bit of a breeze. It would take way too long on my hair. I think we should try it on someone else. Yas, can you grab the camera? Matt, your hair's shorter. We should try it on short hair. I was thinking about it, Matt. I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Wait, how do I turn it off? The switch. Oh, okay, good. I was thinking about it and... Are you kidding me right now? We can't use a blow dryer if there's no wet hair, so I figured yours would dry the fastest. You better have a 1950s mop to clean up everything in here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> do you want your hair dry or not? I want my hair dry. I saw my dog do this once. No, get right, out of the okay. stop! This no. is called popping a squiz knot. That's what they did. And oh my gosh, why does that feel so weird? I just realized it, there's a hot and a cold, and this has been on cold, but what happens when it gets hot? It gets hot. Surprise. Oh, I think it's working. Turn it on high. Turn it on high. It's, Let it blow. Let it blow. That's Turn it on high. Cold and hot. You have two notches. Okay, Zam Fam, it looks like this is a Move big it thumb. Move it around a bit. Oh, oh. What? My head is on fire right now. This is so hot. Okay, let me just turn it off. Definitely a thumbs up. Now we're in the 1960s. And this fashion is looking way better. This might look strange, but I want you guys to comment below what you think this is. This is a blow dryer. And why is there like a hole on the other side? Because you turn it on, put this on your head, and it's supposed to heat up your hair and dry it. This is definitely a look. You know who uses this thing? Who? Haley Bieber. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if she does, then we all will. Yas is obsessed with Haley Bieber, so all you have to do is say that Haley Bieber does something and she'll do it. <laughs> Haley Bieber totally gets the mail outside. <laughs> so now we're gonna turn it on. Oh. oh. Is that supposed to feel this hot? Is it hot? It actually feels kind of nice. Does it work? More like an air cooler. At the end of this, we're gonna pick which era we would want to live in. And it has to be under 2000. Definitely and this one. Whoa. <laughs> what am I looking for here? It's dry. Whoa. Okay, honestly though, would you give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Honestly, I would give it a thumbs up just because it's very cooling. It actually did the opposite of what it's supposed to do. It says a hair dryer, but I think it was also supposed to be a nail dryer. Wait, that's a game changer. Yeah, fam, you can paint your nails, put it in here, and then dry them. This is amazing, Rebecca. You don't have to get your nails done anymore. You can just do it yourself. Actually, I was thinking you could get your nails done. No! Okay, get up. No, no, no. Is it? You got nails in me life. Wait, no, 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 no. Do not do this. Do not do this. Okay. Are you kidding me right now? What are we in? We're in the 
Okay, okay. How's it feel? I feel wet in my head and dry on my nail. That red looks incredible. <laughs> That's what I have to deal with now. Now we are in the 70s and the beauty product that we are testing is a facial heat mask. <laughs> you gonna put that on your face? Yeah, because it's supposed to warm it up and get, I don't know, the blood flowing or if you have a migraine. What are the benefits? Can you just read me the benefits of this? Two year written warranty. Okay, well this is expired. This and sounds like skincare to me. Yas is excited, okay? <laughs> Hailey Bieber wears this, so Yas is in. You're about to play a football game. Yeah, you look like you're a hockey player. How does it feel? It feels nice. This is what Does it? I can't imagine how many people wore this already though. So we have it on high right now, but there's different levels. There's low, medium. Oh wait, that's no, wait, don't do oh, There you go, it's on. If Hayley Bieber yeah. does it, Hayley so do we. does this all the time. Every night, every morning. Wow. It smells like the 1970s. <laughs> it smells like my grandma's couch. That's a good look on you. Yeah. Imagine waking up to Rebecca and she's wearing this. Yeah. Look on the upside. I wouldn't have to look at your face. You know? Yeah. Oh God! Zadie's got a little bit of a cough, but you're in 80s because that was part of 80s. Well, now we are testing this beauty Do not product. use it on Zadie. I'm not gonna use a hair crimper on Zadie. I'm gonna use it on my own. So now I'm gonna test this out, Zadie. Do you wanna see what it looks like? No. No? Okay, you stay right there. This is an 80s hair crimper. Zanfam, comment below which area you think is your favorite. Also, have you used a hair crimper? Okay, this has been plugged in for a while and it's not really getting hot. I don't so. think that's like a good look. I mean, it just looks like you have a bunch of knots in your hair. No. I I love it. Oh. I love it too. He doesn't know. It's yeah, like you accidentally I... shut your hair in 20 doors. <laughs> kind of like it. I kind of like it too. Oh my gosh. Y'all you... see what yours? Oh, we, we can try a little bit. I'm um, a pro. Are you sure? I'm just, a hairstylist. Just don't get her head hot or something. Oh yeah, true. Well, you already burned my hair. Your hair's a lot thicker than mine, so this might take a lot longer. Is it not working? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're rating this 80s hair crimper. Thumbs up. My favorite. I'd still wear it. Now we're in the 2000s. And you guys, this was a huge thing. It was dyeing your hair with Kool-Aid. I never did it, but let's try it. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. What? No, it definitely did. I remember people doing this. This is not a permanent solution, just so you guys know. This is a temporary solution. No, it's actually permanent. No, it's not. Matt, if you don't think this is permanent, would you do it on your hair then? No, but you're about to ruin your best wig. <laughs> my best wig? Yeah, look at that thing. I'll take my chances. It's I don't know pink. if that actually works. Uh, it does. You Okay, you have to sit for longer. This is a fashion fail. I'm okay. sorry. Leave that in the 2010s. He's right. I'm going thumbs down. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we That's don't even need this stick right now. It's a no. Go. That's probably why I didn't try it when I was in my 2010 era. Y'all, you haven't tried it, so I think this one might be your decade. No! Now we are in the 2020s, and we're gonna be testing out the Zamfam merch, which is the hottest merch in the game, right, Zay? Yeah! So make sure to get your merch at RebeccaZamolo.com. But Zadie really wants to try the press on nails. Yes, Zadie. Okay, Zadie is gonna try these on. Are you ready? Put your thumb out. Now Zadie has really little nails. She doesn't know what a thumb is. Ooh. Oh. So fancy. Okay. Ooh. Oh no. Blackjack. <laughs> He hates it. He loves it. Zadie and Blackjack's not a fan of these. Okay, Zam fam, what I love about these press on nails is they're instantly sticky, so like you don't have to put anything on them. Wow! <laughs> wow. She's so happy right now. And I love these clips, Zam fam. If you're like going into the shower and you don't want to wash your hair, or you're taking a bath, I just clip it up. Bye. <laughs> Okay, y'all, and now we get to pick the decade that we think the other person should live in. I think you should live in the 80s because your hair looked so bomb when it was crimped. I think the 60s, like blow dryer and nail, like you could use that. Okay. 60s well, for you. I'm glad we live in the 20s or 2000s. <laughs> Damn, let us know which decade out of the decades we did that you would want to live in, not including this one. Make sure you subscribe and click and watch this video right here.